Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Life Cuisine, made by Lean Cuisine, uh, the Lifestyle Bowls. This one is the Low Carb Lifestyle. It says it's new. I don't know how new it is, but that's what it says. Um, it is the Meat Lovers Cauliflower Pizza Bowl. It is Italian sausage, pepperoni made with pork, chicken, and beef, cauliflower florets, mozzarella cheese, and tomato, uh, tomato pizza sauce. We bought these at Kroger. It was $3.99, which isn't too bad. Let's see, it's an 11 ounce meal, 311 grams, 13 grams of net carbs, whatever way they calculated that, I don't know. Um, okay, so 430 calories for the whole thing, and here's your other information for you. Um, they probably said somewhere over here how they calculated that, but anyway, who knows. Okay, so here's the cooking directions, microwave only as far as, far as I could tell. So we're going to leave the film on the bowl, cook for four minutes on high, stir and recover, and then do another two and a half minutes. Wow, that takes quite a bit of time. Um, I don't generally like cauliflower, you know, overall, but I don't mind cauliflower as long as it's cooked. I like cooked cauliflower. I just don't like like raw cauliflower. So here it is. Quite a bit of cauliflower in there, but after how long did I cook this for? Um, six and a half minutes. I would think most of that cauliflower is pretty pretty tender. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and uh, it's very cheesy. That's for sure. I mean, I really got a lot of cheese uh, when I was stirring it up and you can really, it was very sticky, sticky cheese. And then now that it's cooked the last two and a half minutes, you see these little scorched areas that were kind of scorched on the edges. Look how greasy that is. See how much grease and oils in there? It's, uh, it's oilier than I would have thought. So anyway, I don't know if that's from the cheese or what. Cauliflower seems to be pretty tender for the most part. I guess instead of pasta, they're using cauliflower. Ooh, steamy. Um, for Instead of pasta. So anyway, I'm going to let this cool off because it's super hot and I'll be back. All right, so here we go. I think I've got some sausage in there. Of course, you can't beat the, uh, you can't avoid the sauce if you wanted to. Um, cheese, a piece of cauliflower. Here we go. Cauliflower is cooked well. I like that. I like get the, um, I definitely get the, the, like the spicy sausage flavor, which actually tastes really good. I like that. Um, the sauce itself is good. Like I said, it's kind of got a spice to it. It's got a tomatoey flavor. So it does kind of remind you of pizza, but it's more of a, it's more of a spicy sausage pizza than a, just a regular pizza. The, um, yeah, that, the sausage is pretty spicy. Don't mind the cauliflower at all. Um, it's, it's actually pretty decent. It, if it had been cooked, if it had not been cooked um, a little bit less, I may have uh, not liked it as much because it would have been crunchy. Right now it's it's firm. You get a little bit of crunch. I mean, just a little bit of crunch to it, but for the most part, it's very soft, which I like. <coughs> I guess I really enjoy the, the sausage in this. So really, I know it's low carb, and they do calculate by the way. Here's how they calculate it. It is 19 grams of total carbs. So the total carbs minus, the 19 grams of total carbs minus the six grams of fiber um, gives you net carbs of 13. It's definitely not a low calorie meal. It's 430 calories, so it's definitely not a low calorie. But um, and as far as low carb goes, I don't know if that's low or not. Truthfully, I don't do the carb diet, so, um, oh, the, the keto lifestyle or whatever. I don't do any of the, the carb stuff. So I don't know if 13 is good or not. I know I'm the, in back in the day, um, I tried the Atkins diet and you were supposed to only get like 20 a day, 20 grams of carbs a day, especially when you were first doing it. Um, so that would be a lot for them because you try to keep it under 20. Um, 13 out of 20 would be pretty high for the day. Um, so it would have been high, but I, like I said, I don't do keto, so I don't, I don't know like what it is nowadays. I do miss pasta in this, just because I like pasta, but the cauliflower, it does definitely give you a little texture difference than instead of just eating a sauce and, and sausage. Um, so you're not just getting meat and sauce, you're getting something else to chew on, so I do like that part of it. You know what? It's not a five, 
but it's a strong four. Definitely worth trying out. Even if you're not on the, the low carb lifestyle, even if you're not doing the low carb, I do like the flavor of it and it does have some spice to it. It does have a little tingle in the back of your throat and on your tongue. Um, I like that part of it too. And the cauliflower, even if you don't like the taste of cauliflower, I mean, if you absolutely hate a cauliflower, you wouldn't want to get this. But if you don't mind the taste of cauliflower, especially when it's cooked cauliflower, I don't taste cauliflower in this. I truly don't. Um, I don't get that hint of cauliflower. Cauliflower to me is kind of funky when it's by itself. You don't get that with this. It's mostly um, the spicy sausage and the, um, the tomato sauce. So you don't get that. So this is a four for me. Definitely worth trying out. Even if you're not on low carb, I think it's good. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.